jean as well as some um, gladiolas that Monica had left over that we got from her. This is Chandler's Grave Garden, which just has the grasses and one little basil plant. Then we've got a few more herbs out here. Now we have not finished. We have half, halfway done. We have to finish that other side. But, hello Andy. Hello Jesse. The tiered gardens, we have put up netting. I know that you can see this is a netting because the deer were eating the hostas and the day lilies. Oh, and look at my hellebore. I have three of them in there. This is the outside bed. These were the peonies we moved from the back. This is the lower tier bed with uh, grasses right up here and more of the lilies. Unfortunately, the deer ate my stargazer lilies before we got it fenced in with the netting. So here's the lower tier on the other level. And then up here we trimmed all this and weeded it so the hydrangea hopefully will get a few more flowers. And we edged all of this along here. That cardboard under there is what we're using to put under the mulch in a lot of the beds. Um, here's this bed here. Pussy willow, as you can see, is enormous. I need to cut it back. Um, Joe Pie. Some roses. Our honeysuckle. Some sedum that Carrie transplanted. Our milkweed. And there's a little holly back in the corner there. It's ultimately going to have to be moved. Here is our lilac. Um, grasses and some cone flowers our big patch of Joe Pye weed and our magnolia. We put up all the gate fencing, I should say, gated like wrought iron fence that we had for the graveyard. We put it in here and I think it looks really nice. Um, so we've got more cone flower and some sedum and here I've got um, one and then over here, two um, dahlias that are going to be purple. And you can see this whole fence line back here. It's another birdhouse. And here we have the shade um, variety of hydrangea. Our autumn ferns here, and then in the very back, our regular ferns, as well as our kuza dogwood which is losing its flowers now. It was very nice uh, before now. So then, <clears throat> I think I already showed you the bird garden. We do have to come back and edge it. This is our pile of mulch. This is the second of four yards and we'll have a third set come soon. That's the plum tree that we thought was dead and we chopped it all down and it came back, which is great. Here's the bird garden that needs edging. Um, I mean, Carrie edged it, but we have some little things to hammer in to give it a more finished look. Uh, this hummingbird spinner, Lori brought back from the beach um, for watching her dog, Maggie, which was so sweet. And I've got my frog, balancing frog guys, because, you know, Carrie's always been my frog prince. So lots of cool stuff in here. And then in the back garden here, we just started this garden. When I say started it, I mean weeding it and papering it and mulching it. So here is a hydra or, yeah, hydrangea tree for full sun. And we put in two rose bushes where the peonies were and weeded it out. Um, this birdhouse has baby bluebirds in it. This will be our fourth set of bluebirds. Oh, here's Mr. Bunny. And um, we lost one nest, but let's just see how these guys are doing. There we go. Hi, little guys. Oh, 
I see them. There we go. Looks like four in there. Maybe five. I'm so excited. Let's close it up. Okay, then here we are. All of this. This was how the other sections were in all the gardens. So there's a lot of weeding and pruning to be done. As you can see, a lot of this is just junk that needs to come out. These are some stargazer lilies. I need to find a new way to protect them from the deer. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll come back uh, hopefully this weekend and get two more sections. So we did one section there and two section there. Hopefully this weekend we'll get section three and section four done. And then we'll still have to come in and do section five and six and seven and eight and this willow tree needs a big pruning so it's going to take getting on the ladder to do that so anyway that is everything we are slowly but surely making great progress we've been working really hard every weekend hope you enjoyed the little video let's see As you moved some of the beautyberry bushes from this bird garden here and planted them along the fence on the horse camp side. And you can see they're doing quite nicely. We have these three grasses, another bluebird house, another beautyberry bush. This vegetable garden we're going to weed out and let it sit this year. Another beautyberry, another beautyberry, another beauty berry that Colin mowed over, but it's coming back. Three more grasses and then all of those vegetable beds and the rest of this side bed have to be worked on still. So we're getting there. And there are the three dogs. Hello, Jesse. Hello, Andy. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Andy. Hello. Oh, Jesse. Who's my special boy? Jesse, man.